Welcome to the Ask the Experts show with local celebrity hosts, Steve-O and Renee. Sit back each week while Steve-O and Renee educate you with live in-studio experts, such as lawyers, doctors, home improvement, and financial experts in their field. Call in and have your questions answered each week at 888-565-1470. Now, here is Steve-O and Renee with today's expert in their field. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to another portion, segment of Ask the Experts, where for the next hour, we have some of South Florida's finest experts. We bring on people in the health industry, legal, home improvement, financial. And today is our favorite. Oh, I know. Health Big yes. fans. And for those of you who listen to iHeart in New York City, Nice snow coming your way. It's <laughs> and it's the first day of spring. <laughs> yeah, it's first, but it's beautiful here. Though. It is. So today, if you'd like to watch today's show live, all you have to do is go to www.morselife. That's m o r s e l i f e dot org. We've had some people say I can't find it because you're putting in dot com. Right. So you can actually watch today's show live, and let me introduce you to the most beautiful woman. That hates to hear that in the world. <laughs> my co-host Renee. What's happening? Beautiful out there. We have our favorite show on. Actually, both of our shows today. We have absolutely our audiologist on in the second half, Doctor Paula. They both deal with health, right? They both deal with health. So we have two great shows on today, and we have, as usual, a great live guest in studio from Morse Life. So let's get started. Introduce our first guest, Vesna Parier. Director of Patient Services. Say that again. Poirier. Did I say it right? <laughs> Excellent. Close Excellent. enough. I'm thinking Poirier. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the Director of Patient Services for Morse Life Home Healthcare Agency. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. How do you get all that on your business card? <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> That's a lot. It's, I managed to do it. <laughs> and again, if you'd like to watch this show, just go or go back and watch it later. You could go to www.morselife.org. So you are the Director of Patient Services. So what's your role? My role at Morse Life Home Health Care is that of the director as I hire the staff, I train the staff, I do what's called the in-services, which is continuing education. I also deal with families and patients on a daily basis where they're calling in to find out what exactly do we do. And um, I go around the community speaking like I am here today. Is your industry, is it hard to find good people? I mean, I'm sure you can find people. Is it hard to find good people, though? That well, are really and you qualified? screen them. I know that you have a very extensive screening process. We do, and, and to answer your question, we're always hiring. I'm looking for passionate people who want to care for our, the seniors in oh, our community. Give them your okay, phone so number. absolutely. We want to know what the criteria for that is as well. Sure. Uh, for home health services, we're looking for home health aides. We're looking for nursing assistants. We're looking for registered nurses, for licensed practical nurses, LPNs, physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists. These are folks that uh, want to work in the home setting, caring for seniors that want to live there, right? So um, we're always hiring, and you could go to our website at morselife.org under careers and fill out an application or call 888 616 0707. Okay, again, so what's the criteria for hiring somebody in this field? You know, I, I always say this, I tell this to everyone. I am looking for nice. I could teach you anything else. I could teach you skills, but I can't teach you to be nice. So I'm looking for nice people who are empathetic and compassionate. And that's what our seniors need. Absolutely. So I read the book, Nurse Nancy, would I qualify? <laughs> <all? laughs> <laughs> no, that's more funny. Stuff. No, okay. <laughs> so how has the health care field changed in the past few years? Well, in, at home? <laughs> home health, yes. Sure, it, it, it's changing. Um, you know, we're getting less money from Medicare to do what we do, but we're expected to have these initiatives that really uh, target patient education. So in other words, we're asked to do more, more. with less. So that's uh, that's what we're seeing across the board, now. and it, and the clients are more complex. We're living longer, so they come out of the hospital with lots of illnesses, lots of comorbidities. So yeah, it's it's tough out there. And you find a lot of patients they don't want to admit that they have to go into a facility, so they rather stay at home. 
Correct. So it's difficult. You know, uh, there's no place like home, right? Exactly. People want to age at home. They want to remain at home. I, I don't blame them. That's what uh, my mother did that. And Is that aging, so my mother. In place? aging in place yes. where you want to stay in your home and then bring in those things that you may need, support services, uh, making the uh, apartment safer for you, remove carpeting, expanding the bathroom, whatever it is. Most Life does it all. We do it all to, to help you age in place, absolutely. I gotta put this plug in. That we have so many people that we get emails from New York that listen to the show <laughs> every week, and they have, fam they have their parents live here. Yeah, well most parents end up retiring to Florida. Exactly. So there's a lot of people from up north. So listen, we're going to do all the legwork for you. You don't have to Google anybody <laughs> to find a good, competent home care company. Are we saying we good have, or the best? Okay. Okay, let's change that to we're the best. The best. The okay. We're saying the best. We're saying the best. I was best now. <laughs> well, here we have someone in studio with Morse Life who we can absolutely consider an expert. So here's your chance now. You can call them. if You, you might already have another home care company. Guys, women, this is the best here. Give them your phone number again. 888-616-0707. Okay. And you know, Renee and I talk a lot about this. It used to be the women who would take care of the parents, but now a lot of women are oh, going working. back to work. Yes, and they don't have the time. For sure. It's always been, and it, it still kind of is, the daughters, even though they work, they're still mainly responsible right. for the care of their parents or the wife or the, the spouse. So we do see a lot of the daughters primarily calling and asking for help. Right, and it becomes overwhelming when you have to hold that job and you're taking care of an ailing parent. And then having children. So exactly. you're that sandwich you have all generation. That to the equation. Mm -hmm. It's difficult, yeah. Very much so. What is the difference between in home assistance and skilled home care? In home assistance is when someone might call, they need help with light housekeeping, taking them to the doctor shopping. As we age, we might have to give up our car. So we need, and in Florida- well, they should you, give up their car. <laughs> <laughs> in Florida, it's not like you just walk across the street, we're spread out. So uh, driving them to appointments to do their shopping, preparing a meal, reminding them to take their medication, those things are considered in-home assistance, or what I say, custodial care. So is that okay? like companion care? Companion in, in also, but, uh, maybe a little bit more than a companion because a companion might not want to do some light housekeeping right oh, right vacuuming sounds like me changing <laughs> sheets and making the bed definitely sounds um, like me and then skilled services are what you get at a facility like a hospital or rehabilitation center a nurse starting an iv giving you iv antibiotics wound care physical therapy occupational therapy speech therapy those things are called skilled services so does medicare cover these services Medicare covers the skilled services for a short length of time, okay? So it's not, Medicare is the short-term insurance from the government, so it's a short length of time. So it could be, we call them episodes. So as long as you're showing improvement, the nurse goes out there doing your wound care and it's, it's improving, she'll continue to go till hopefully it heals, okay? And that might take six weeks, eight weeks, short-term. Uh, so Medicare covers those skilled services. The custodial services, that in-home care, the laundry, the shopping, no, Medicare does That's not. That's not covered. Absolutely not. It's not covered. Wow. So, so I'm going to put you on the spot. What makes, and I already know this, but what makes Morse Life so unique? Wow. Tell That's, us why you that, love coming to work well, every day. I've been at Morse Life for 14 years. Wow. That's a so long time. I'm it's aging like a lifetime. Place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what makes it unique, we have the full continuum of care from the home health care. And then when that might not be safe anymore, we have independent and assisted living. Then we have the PACE program, which is a program all-inclusive care for the elderly. These are folks who are at, at risk of living in a nursing home, but now don't want to. So we care for them at home. They come for the day to Morse and then go back home. It's almost home. like a daycare. Correct. But the government pays for that service. Which is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and of course, we have a state-of-the-art rehabilitation center, our nursing home, which, by the way, it's now 33 years old. And we're opening in May of this year our memory care unit. So we do it all. We also have a Meals on Wheels program that serves 900 meals a week to our homebound seniors. Amazing. Food prepared, food that I eat every day, packaged, prepared, sent out to homes. 
We have coming up for the Jewish Passover, we have a mitzvah program. Again, serving those seniors who cannot get to temple because they might be homebound, we bring the services, food to their home. All run by volunteers. Wow. So, yeah, How more says you need. find out about that, though, especially with Passover coming you up? You know, that's funny. We've been in the newspaper where, okay. in, in, you know, the news will, will advertise. Jewish Journal. Been, Jewish Journal. It's advertised, and yet still I find people that have never heard of it. No, I've actually seen ads in the Jewish yeah, Journal. Yeah, we're always looking for volunteers to help bring the meals out to our folks. But, yes, if um, someone needs that, we are available and bring that to them. And then we have a wonderful co program called the Neighbor to Neighbor Program, also part of the Home Care Division, where we're in 16 senior communities, and we bring social workers to those communities so people, if they have questions, they can meet with her, and uh, she'll help them manage wow. and maneuver the healthcare system free, free. And we bring exercise programs to these communities because our goal is for people to remain at home. We want them to age yes. in place. We have a great facility, but we really want them to age in place. And we have our, our, our care management program. That's geriatric social workers. We do support groups throughout our community. Social workers are there to help when a family does live in New York, Boston, Chicago, and they can't get here. They hire one of our care managers and they'll be that person that liaison with the doctor and the healthcare system. So yeah, we do it all. That's I love why it. You, you know, cover the whole realm. And what I love so much about Morris Life is you could start out at home and then maybe have to go into an assisted living and then end up in nursing in a nursing home. So you could go up the chain Correct. of co like chain Correct. of command, which is not chain of command. But you know no what second. I don't like about Morris Life? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she knows all my jokes. Um, but in one thing, I don't know if I didn't hear you say, the grounds. The grounds. So oh, yeah, fabulous. Beautiful. It's very important for us to be beautiful. It is it, so beautiful. When folks do come to live there permanently, be it at our assisted living, independent living, or even just come to the MAC building for rehabilitation, we want them to go on outside and enjoy the beauty that is here in Florida. If you can't be at yeah. home, that's the next closest That's place. right. It and is. so we, we take pride. We have beautiful sculptures throughout the campus. So obvious and uh, beautiful landscaping and uh, it's well taken care of it it is it's a, a amazing facility i bet you when people drive up they're not expecting <laughs> no <see>. they're <laughs> Their blown away. Are just dropped up because it is so beautiful mm -hmm. so again if you have family who's looking for something a little bit more special because you even do kosher meals too don't you yes we do mm -hmm. but you don't only cater to, to the jewish no, community no 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 we started Right, Obviously, that, point, that was yes. our, right. when we started 33 years ago, that, that was the focus, and it's still a big part of who we are. Right. Right. We don't want to get away from meals. that. Right. But we, and especially at the MAC building where people come to rehabilitate, we're there, we cater to everyone at home, we care for everyone, our PACE program, absolutely everyone. Right. Uh, and, and people know, Morse is quality. Get a discount if you have a Jewish star on. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Then you get a discount if you're Berg or Wicks. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell the jokes. Um, we're going to go to break, our, our first break, and we come back. We have more with Morse Life. We got, this, is, this is cool. She's got a good sense of humor and everything today. <laughs> so we'll be right back. Morse Life is a nationally recognized provider of elder care and support services for seniors and their families in Palm Beach County. Located on the expansive Maryland and Stanley M. Katz Seniors Campus in West Palm Beach, Morse Life is dedicated to enhancing quality of life for older adults through a full range of services. Morse Life provides long-term care, state-of-the-art short-term rehabilitation, luxury independent and assisted living, memory care, and home health services. Morse Life is also the exclusive Palm Beach County affiliate for PACE, the national program of all-inclusive care for the elderly. Morse Life has been awarded the Governor's Gold Seal of Excellence and is a five-star nursing facility committed to continuous research and training that consistently delivers enlightened senior care. Morse Life also offers concierge care for clients seeking an enhanced level of private home care. For more information or a tour of the campus, please call 561 Four seven one five one one one, or visit www.morselife.org. And we're back with Vesna, and I should let you say the last name, but it's Poirier. No, let me say it. <laughs> Poirier. Oh, perfect. I love it from Morse Life. <laughs> 
So when is it clear that a client no longer could be home, getting home care? We send out a nurse uh, who supervises the person who's in the home, the home health aide. Uh, a nurse is always the supervisor. So routinely we go out every six to eight weeks to check or sooner if there's an issue. And at that point, the nurse is always checking to see how are things going? Are they managing? Are they declining? If they are declining, then we start making some inquiries with the family, letting them know what would you like to do. We set up a plan. We might send our geriatric care manager to help us with that. And if they, sometimes they just want to pay for additional services. They want more services in the home. But even sometimes with 24-7 care, that patient may not be safe at home anymore. They might, they might continue to be falling. They're totally bed bound. There's things that uh, are just not going as smoothly as they should. And it becomes a safety factor. Then we make those recommendations and help them move to the next level. Right. And also the socializing factor. If they're there and they're bedridden, at least if they could get around and be wheeled around the facility, there's other people, other, you know, you know, and and that, 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 that's a, 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 a personal thing. You and I are social people. Yes, so we some like people. people. Are not, yes. Some people are not. So they leave me alone. I want to stay here alone. I don't want people. You know, so everyone's different. So our care plans are individual for each person. And so you have an Oscar the Grouch plan? <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of the problems that seniors that live at home, what problems do they experience? Well, the two major problems are medication management. They, they, it's overwhelming. You know, they go to the doctor, he puts them on three meds. They go to this <clears throat> other doctor, he puts them on another three anyway. They go to the hospital, they take away all those, and they don't know how to they manage it. They get confused with their medication and it becomes overwhelming. So we do offer medication management, a program where a nurse comes in once a week to help them manage that, takes care of refilling the prescriptions, checking, right, and dealing with... Right, and that you can set, because my father does that. Yes. He separates all his right. pills through the week. As long as he's safe doing it, he is doing a good job. Sign. Right but now, knock on wood, yes. He's but still some doing folks, that becomes overwhelming. overwhelming. Yes. So that's one. And then the second is the falls. We see seniors who are, uh, you, you see them walking, you know, they're, it, it's a balance issue. And so frequent falls, and we see that a lot. And that's a concern because if you break a hip, things change drastically. Absolutely. Dramatically. So that, How about those things that I, I fall and I can't get up? Yes, we always encourage those. It's a personal response oh, system. We even have a grant for those who cannot afford to have one of those. We will help pay for right, that. Right, there's a monthly service charge because my That's girlfriend's right. father had yeah. that. He was falling all the time. Yeah, we are adamant that we need to put things in place to keep you safe at home. So that's something we offer as well. Maybe I should um, get one of those every time you yell at me. About <laughs> Just so push is, the button. is loneliness, I have to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> is loneliness something that you see a lot? Because sure. I would imagine it is. Sure. Well, you know, as we age, we might lose our lifetime partner, our best friend. So a lot of widows, widowers are out there and then their friends begin to pass on or yes. move families might move them out right. of the Especially neighborhood if you're in these elderly communities that's all you see is because yeah. my father lives in king's point oh and yeah all you see are ambulances <laughs> and it's sure. really disheartening it I mean, is it's really you know it's all of a sudden you're in the the apartment and you hear the um ambulance bells going off yeah and for the for some the of my seniors say you know these golden years are really tarnished <laughs> yes. and uh so it, depression loneliness we see a lot of that so we encourage people who are probably that don't they have their ways of doing things mm -hmm. and at this age they don't want to change right and really and that's I, their security too of course and and i don't want to change anybody that's right. why i always tell families you know let that senior have some control don't take all of that away but to help with that loneliness and that depression you know they the jcc has wonderful programs they're always welcome at our facility we have a lunch bunch every day monday through friday they could come and play bingo and cards which is nice and, at least and, they have and some socialization have lunch. Yes. they even could take a meal home with them uh so we try to do some of those things if they do hire a companion or an aide we encourage them to go out they'll go to the library they'll go see shows they'll go to the movies and uh wow. we do encourage those things of course if they're active in their synagogue their temple of church we you know help them get there as well and you have that daycare also that and they can our, go out throughout the day and do that as well that's right our, our pace program uh that's a great program for someone who really is stuck at home and having nothing now we do have a one of our newest program for folks with memory loss which is one of the uh diagnoses we see a lot right 
by the time you're 85, half of us will end up with some sort of dementia. dementia. So we were just certified in music and memory. And so we have a music program. Right. We that, spoke about that yes. last month yes. when somebody so, else was on the show. Correct. So for, we bring that to the home and help people in current, and then reminisce. You know, you hear a song that you heard from the fourth grade, you know, floods your mind with memories. So Which then we just really nice. and we discuss and, and have that one on one with those clients. So we try to do all we can. Again, we truly honor senior living and we try to figure out what's Who best for you. Who contacts you? Is it a family member or the person themselves? Typically, it's a family member. They, they noticed some, they came down, they visited mom, they saw she's just a little bit off, and uh, they're reaching out. So it's and usually, how do you approach it with that mom or dad or family member? Yeah, well, you know, all our nursing assessments, when we go to the home to do that assessment, they're free. So there's no commitment. We will say, we just want a nurse to come out and visit with you and see, let's explore options. Really the best time to start thinking about this is when your parents are, they're well. You, we need a plan. Yes. Many of us wait till it's a crisis. It needs to happen sooner. Well, so mom and dad are on board. Nobody wants to deal with the fact that their parents no. are getting older. And the seniors themselves right. don't want to. Exactly. You know, we right. all think we're going to live forever. We all think we're 20 years younger than we are. <laughs> right. I thought we were. Oh. <laughs> Just me. Well, you know, the, Just you know, me, 70, you, <laughs> 70 is the new 50. Okay. It is. No joke. That's no what joke. writing. It, it's true. Yes. So can a person just use some of your services or do you have packages that they can buy? How do you break that down? They could do as little as just get meals on wheels. And then from there, they a la might, carte. A la carte. Okay. <laughs> they might want just someone to come in and check on their medications. Or they might want an aide to just come out one hour a week just to take, take them, them shopping. That's it. It's it's as little as you want it to be or a 24-7. We deal with it all and we offer it all. And again, does Medicare handle, take care of any of this at all? Just the skilled services. Just skilled services. Okay, Physical so the Meals therapy. on Wheels, how often do they come around with that? They're, they're frozen meals. No, I'm saying how oh. often do they come out to bring you that? Once, so once a week. Once a week, they'll, so they'll bring, bring you, you a whole bunch of stuff. They'll bring you enough meals for the week. So you have to have room in your freezer because they're frozen meals, but they're uh, wonderful, nutritious. No, that's great. So how does somebody get that? How does somebody sign up for that? Again, call our office, 888-616-0707. Or if they want information about home health care. Same, same number. Same number. Absolutely. Okay. And, and the main number is 561-471-5111. And you could also go to their website, which is www.morselife.org. If you want information... I'm sure there's plenty of information on the website uh, as well. Yeah, the the website's filled with wonderful uh, information that you could click on and figure things out. You know, Morse Life it has to be like considered one of the best places to come work for. We just won an award. Did you really? <laughs> we oh, did. wow. Just, that, <laughs> was that was a good lead in. Yes, we, we just received an award for one of the best places to work in Florida. And uh, I've been there for 14 years, so that says something. I, uh, they are, they, they really go out of their way to make sure that you are uh, doing, first of all, what we're supposed to do. We're paid to take care of seniors. So that in itself is with very a, rewarding. With a good disposition. Yes. Because that's Happy. The, we want yes. happy people. <laughs> Pleasant. Pleasantness Pleasant. is always nice. Yes. So your turnover must be very small. And, and home care is very, very small. Yeah. Very small. But so you're always you, looking for new people. Yes, because we're growing. Yes, so how do you match up people? Because I know, like, I have an uncle that has home <laughs> health, and he, well, now he's really happy with the person he has, but I know he went through a whole bunch of people. True. So do you actually match That's people up? That's why we send that nurse out first, to okay. meet the family, to meet the patient, to get a feel for their character, personality, what they're looking for. Someone want, might want someone who's a little bit pushy. Others might say, I need someone Take who's just left back. back. Right, exactly. So we get that all out of the way in our assessment. Now, do we get it right 100% of the time? No, you know, people are people. Sometimes right. we'll have to go through a few people. But for the most part, we're, we're pretty spot on. Now, we also do live-in care. That is where someone lives in the home with the client. Now, boy, talk about finding the right wow, fit. That was yes. really well, my uncle has that living. Okay. Yes, yes, he does have a living. Yes, but like I said, it took him a lot of people. He was screening sure. people. Sure, I mean, it, I mean, yes. it's like marriage. You know, here you're going to live with somebody. Yeah, I thought your uncle had a girlfriend or something. <laughs> That's a living. It's a living. Yes, <laughs> kind of both the same, aren't they? <laughs> Just because she's thirty years younger. No. <laughs> but you age? never know in South 50, Florida. 70, you know? <laughs> but yeah, that's important to get the right yes. fit. I mean, I you know that must be miserable to have a so that's not going to work. 
checkout. So we make every effort. We're, we're large, so we have over 350 home health aides. So we'll get wow. to the right fit. No kidding. That's amazing. Let's give everybody your website address again. Okay, www.moreslife.org. Let's get that little tang, that little accent <laughs> there. Well, Poirier, guess what? <laughs> um, show's gone by so fast. I mean, I told you 30 minutes goes by so fast. Um, if you're interested, I'm going to give you the main number, 561 471 Five one one one. You can see all the different programs that Morse Life have, and um, you've been there for fourteen years. So, which is truly amazing. Yeah, I mean nowadays. It's, it's so <laughs> funny, and I have to say it's so funny because every month we do the show with somebody else from Morse Life, which is really nice. A different division of Morse Life, mm -hmm. and the nice part is, is that. Everybody that comes in loves their job and is so personable. And you could tell it ex it actually it should like follow suit with everybody else that works there because you could feel just how nice everybody is. Yeah. I mean, that, it's, I think it's, it's like they can't wait to come to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just say nice. some positive things, which is usually not the case with you know in every field. So it's really nice or to you, hear you're that. You're dealing with a population of folks who really deserve good care yes and 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 we're all going to be there one day so i i'm a true believer hey, what goes around comes around you know so you're closer than focus <laughs> to settle down <laughs> average age oh. 87 in home care is that right wow. yeah average age this week we admitted 10 people to our private duty all were the over the age of 92. <laughs> wow yeah people med, are living long the meds are working right <laughs> yeah they, they are wow that's yeah. amazing that really well, is well it's so which what morse life offers to the community now are you strictly palm beach county palm beach county for now yes okay for now <laughs> for the home health care it's for, palm beach Co for county for all of our services all the services okay palm beach county except for our care management service they do go into um martin county they do go up there. Nothing in Broward yet, though, is what we're saying. Nothing no, in Broward. No, County nothing yet. in okay. Broward. But if you live in Broward, you're more than welcome to go to the facility. You could still. Oh, you still could come to our rehab. Yes. Of course. Uh, we'd love to have you there. And, and of course, if you're going to live long term at our assisted living, independent, or nursing home or memory care unit, sure. You Does could. Keith's brain ever stop? Like, what? Are you I don't do think next? so. No. <laughs> Keith he, is your when CEO. he arrived, you know, seven years ago as our CEO, he says he's going to take us to the next level, and he has. We're, we're known. Um, we're and you're continue. always ahead of every agency. We're, we're always ahead. We, yes. We're on the cutting edge. We. It's important. It really is. Yeah, I can just see him. I mean, does he ever sleep at night? <laughs> His brain is all, what am I going to do next for the community? What, which is what it's you actually, want to see. Yeah. It's wonderful. It really is. Okay, yeah. so thank you so much for coming in thank today. You. Thank it you. It was fun. We <laughs> loved, I hope we have you back on again. Uh, we're going to go to break. Can we come back? We have Dr. Paula. I know, Dr. Paula. <laughs> She's from New York, so don't even <laughs> go there. Abel audiologist we speaking that we're kind of in the same age group there yes we <laughs> will seniors. be right back